Hey crew, coming back at you for the Friday vlog series. So today we're gonna go over the three tenets of CrossFit. So if you've been through our elements curriculum and all of you should have, uh, it, it's nothing new, but it's one of those foundational pieces. It's just good to revisit uh, kind of time and time again. That way when you're continuing to make strides, hit goals and your coworkers, your family at the next event, you're coming out of quarantine and people are like, you look good, what are you doing? You're gonna say, I'm part of Fountain City Fitness, we do CrossFit. And they're gonna say, don't you get hurt doing CrossFit? I could never do CrossFit. What is CrossFit? And the great thing now is you have an answer, right? So CrossFit, very simply put, is constantly varied functional movements performed at a relatively high intensity. So what does that mean though? So let's talk about it. First thing we're gonna talk about, constantly varied. So constantly varied and why we do constantly varied activities because CrossFit is really a lifestyle training. We're not specializing in any one thing other than the ability to go leave the gym and be really fit outside of it so we can live our standard life. Now, the, un the unfortunate thing about life is it's not going to tell you, hey, you're going to need to do a bench press a couple weeks from now. Now we can enter competitions and get that. But in all reality, we don't know what's coming. So we need to kind of get out of the methodology of we're going to do this thing every day in this phase. We need to train across all domains of fitness, gymnastics, weightlifting, cardio, and we need to train across all time domains, whether it's two minutes, 10 minutes, 40 minutes, because we don't know what's coming ahead of us. So we're going to do um, no rest. We're going to do lots of rest. We're going to do short bursts. We're going to do long bursts. We're going to constantly vary everything we do so that you're ready for life. Now, in that same lifestyle aspect, functional movements. So the reason we do functional movements is because we're trying to train for you to get OB fit outside the gym. So we're not going to do a lot of things that you're not going to see in everyday life. What we're hoping to do is a deadlift because we're going to pick bags up off the ground. We're going to do presses because we're going to put things away on a shelf up above. And we're going to do lunges because if you're laying on the ground and you need to get up, good luck doing that without your hip passing below your knee. You're going to have to do a lunge or a squat below parallel. It's a functional movement. Running is functional. Twisting is functional. Throwing is functional. You do this in your everyday life. So we want to train those things that we're going to consistently see outside of the gym. And this last one, you'll notice I added an extra word. So we're going to call it high intensity, and that's very important. But we're going to put a small r here for relative high intensity. So my high intensity is different than your high intensity, is different than athlete C's high intensity. Um, but that's how we build that community. So we'll talk more about that too. So when we ingrain all these together in this very nice Venn diagram of fitness, we're going to say CrossFit right here in the middle. This beautiful segue of the combination of all three of these things. Now, can we do these on their own? Absolutely. We should. If you go back to last week when we were talking about practice, we should do functional movements at a low intensity. We should practice just our air squats and not vary it up. We should practice these things in separation. We should also do a lot of those segments that are in between the two uh, circles. So let's talk about what's varied and functional. Right here, we're going to put something like team sports. So team sports, especially in, a, in an adult league, we're talking volleyball, softball, things that we typically do maybe with a beverage in our hand while we're uh, contributing to this sport. Um, but are those varied? Let's talk about softball. Absolutely. You're twisting, you're swinging, you're running, you're feeling, you're doing a lot of different things. Is it functional? Everything I just said is pretty functional. Your running is very functional. Throwing, functional. Swinging a bat is that twisting of the, the abdomen, very functional. Um, but is it high intensity? Not if you don't want it to be. Um, so let's go to what's varied and highly intense. So these are where our specialized athletes typically go. So if we get something really, really good at something, um, typically we get better than we'll ever need outside of a competition in that sport. So right here, we're going to put like elite level gymnastics. We're going to put things like bodybuilding. So is it varied? Absolutely. Gymnastics has how many different events? Bodybuilding is not like bicep building. It's your entire body. You have to vary it. Is it intense? There's a reason gymnastics routines are 30 seconds long. 
they are draining. They are very physically intense. So, um, but are they functional? Never in my life have I actually needed to squat 800 pounds. Never have I actually needed to do a triple flip uh, and land it in this perfect technique and form. Looks really cool. Not super functional. Now I'm not saying don't do this. Don't go tell all your bodybuilder friends I, I say they suck because they don't. This is super fun. We want you to be here uh, if that's where your passion lies. And then this last one is gonna hurt my heart. If you know me, I'm a runner. That's where uh, my background is. But is running functional? I will fight you, I will argue. Running is the most functional thing you can possibly do. It's getting from point A to point B. Is it high intensity? Absolutely, can be. So if you're running hard, we can get in different kind of heart rate zones. We can talk more about that at a future blog. Um, but is it varied? Nah, man, you just run, that's all. There's a reason people don't love it. Uh, it's not super varied. So a part of why we vary things too is to keep your interest. Now, the cool thing about CrossFit being in the center here, we're not saying don't run. We obviously run in CrossFit. We're not saying don't do gymnastics. We do that too. If you have a beer league softball team, please invite me. We want to do all these things, but if we do CrossFit, what's cool about CrossFit is we're going to get better. It's an inside out mentality. So if we do CrossFit, you're going to get better at running. If you do CrossFit, you're going to get better at gymnastics. Now, will you get as good as if you solely focused on running? No, but while you're getting better at running, you'll also be getting better at gymnastics and you'll also be getting better at your team sports. So we want you to go actively play and try new sports. We want you to enter 5Ks and, and do gymnastics and do bodybuilding. We want you to find a passion and get after it. But we also want you to know CrossFit there in the center, it's gonna train all of it. And we're gonna get this better all around athlete for that functional lifestyle that we know you all wanna live. Um, so go out, dig your garden, carry that thousand pounds of limestone, uh, join that 5k. Honestly, I've heard so many stories about my 5k time dropped by three minutes after I started CrossFit. I didn't run or train any differently. I just did CrossFit. So, um, is CrossFit for you? Do you want to do functional movements? Do you want to be intrigued? Cause they're all always varied and performed at your own intensity levels. Uh, not the person next to you. Um, then yeah, CrossFit's for you. We have coaches there to make sure, are you gonna get hurt? Absolutely not. Because you're moving efficiently through coaching in movements that your body was designed to do. So CrossFit does not have to be injury riddled. In fact, we really encourage you to never get injured and we're there to make sure that you never get injured. Um, so now, you know, coworker says, coming out of quarantine, you are looking good. You're back in the office. Absolutely, come do CrossFit with me at Fountain City Fitness. What is CrossFit? Constantly varied functional movements performed at a high intensity. All right, thanks crew, we'll see you next week.